Healthcare is always changing and always will be changing. We need to keep up with what is going on. What inspires me is the ability to implement new ideas, innovation, jump-starting new projects, just always something new. Duke Heart Center helps to challenge the nurses to look for the latest innovations in how we deliver care and what type of care we deliver to the patients. However, the nurses tend to challenge themselves and each other. And what we do is we work across the multidisciplinary team, we work across the healthcare system to look for what is the newest innovation that we can deliver to our patients and families so that we know we're giving the best care possible. Relate is a patient-centered communication tool that we are consistently using with our patients, their loved ones, and each other. As leaders, we recognize that introducing innovative tools helps us to achieve our goals, support communication, interprofessional relationships, creativity, and innovation. As the Stroke Program Coordinator, I am fortunate to be part of an innovative team looking at a method for measuring swallowing ability in stroke patients. Cardiothoracic surgery improves the quality of life for many patients. Occasionally, some patients who have had cardiac surgery need extra support and resuscitation during their recovery. Cardiac surgery advanced life support was pioneered in Europe, introduced in California, and has been implemented here at Duke for patients who have had mediastinal incisions or clamshell incisions. Although we expect that these will improve patient outcomes, we are currently in the midst of evaluating these outcomes so that we can ensure that both patients and staff benefit from this innovation. So this year I've had the opportunity to be a part of the American Association of Critical Care Nurses Clinical Scene Investigator Academy, and they've given us a lot of support in basically taking something that we've seen at the bedside that could be better and creating and implementing a project um, to change the way we practice bedside nursing. So we have focused on early progressive mobility of the critical care population in our ICU. And what that means is creating a protocol, a standardized way that nurses approach mobilizing patients. So this means that we ambulate people on mechanical ventilators, which in terms of nursing is a pretty big deal. Our nurses saw this and they read the research and they saw the tangible outcome of somebody walking and what that meant for their care. And they totally embraced it, which we were blown away, but that's kind of what Duke Nursing is. They saw the practice change and they met it with enthusiasm. <laughs>